Well, most of my work is based in the UK where I currently practice, but I've been aware of the Choroidal Research Foundation, and one of our patients in the clinical trial um, has been is on the board um, of the foundation. So I do have a very good insight and working knowledge of the Choroidal Research Foundation. The foundation has funded a lot of the early stage research that has led to where we are now with the clinical trial. The amount of funding we need to run a clinical trial is fairly significant, and we're fortunate that the Wellcome Trust and the UK Department of Health backed the trial in the UK, um, and that trial has been, so far, ongoing and, and, and very successful in meeting its primary objectives. The Choroideremia Research Foundation is a fantastic organisation for informing and educating people with choroideremia around the world about what we're doing and about what others are doing. But I think more importantly than that, it has a role that I can't do, which is to try and inform and educate people who have choroideremia about the future and about how to deal with the diagnosis. Um, I simply don't have time for that and I don't really have the insight for it either. But whenever patients come to me and they want to know more information about, well, you know, what kind of problems might I have with choroideremia, what's going to happen in future, I direct them to the Choroideremia Research Foundation where they get the information they need.